I want to help you speed up your analysis process by sharing these sites with you today. When I started my career as a SOC tier one analyst, I started with zero knowledge on where to look online to obtain additional context. In fact, I didn't even know that these sites existed, which is why in today's video, I want to make sure that you are aware of these sites so you can have easy access to them the next time you do your investigation. When it comes to bookmarks, I like to create categories for them. And within each category, I try to aim for at least five different resources. Within each resource, I break it down into what I'm trying to obtain information on. For example, if it's an IP address, I'll have a category for IPs, malware, I'll have it for malware and etc. We'll go through each category along with the sites that exist and yes, there are sites that may cross over. For example, VirusTotal can have multiple capabilities to look for IP addresses, domains, or file hashes. Category number one, malware. When you encounter an alert with malware, it should have a file hash associated with it. Or at least I hope it does. You can then grab the file hash and then start using any of these sites to find additional information. The sites that I have include VirusTotal, AnyRun, Joe Sandbox, Hybrid Analysis, and OTX Alien Vault. Category number two, Threat Intelligence. If you ever wanted to learn more about a certain artifact to identify additional infrastructure that a threat actor might be using, or what websites are utilizing the same IP address as the threat actor, well, Threat Intelligence can help you with that. The sites that I use are the following, VirusTotal, PulseDive, ThreatMiner, OTX Alien Vault, and IBM X-Force. Category number three, IP reputation. Understanding the reputation of an IP address or a website can help you quickly identify whether that artifact was being used for malicious purposes or not. The sites I like to use for IP reputation is VirusTotal, Cisco, Graynoise, AbuseIPDB, BrightCloud, and IBM X-Force. For reputation information on websites, I essentially use the same sites that I use for IP reputation. Category number four, website analysis. Whenever I come across a site that a user had accessed prior to being infected, I like to sometimes check it out to see what happens in real time. Now, of course, you do this in a safe environment and you must understand the risks. The sites that I use to perform these kind of analysis are the following. URL scan, Wanna Browser, Browserling, Chasm, and URL to PNG. Category number five, online sandboxes. Online sandboxes are a great way to identify additional indicators of compromise and to try and understand what a certain malware is doing. These are especially great if you do not have enough compute resources to spin up your own virtual lab. The sites that I like to use for online sandboxes are the following. AnyRun, Hybrid Analysis, Joe Sandbox, Browserling, and Cape Sandbox. Category number six, resources. This is the miscellaneous section where sites listed below are useful in everyday SOC duties. This will include blogs such as the Defer Report, cheat sheets, as well as quick reference guides like your MITRE ATT&CK framework, as well as the kill chain. I've created a download link and I'll list it down below of these bookmarks in Google Chrome in case you're interested in them. And that is it for the video. If you found it informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.